Hey guys, welcome back to our Flutter Firebase series. So in this video, we are going to see about Firebase Cloud Messaging. So without any delay, let's get started. So Firebase Cloud Messaging is used to send the push notification to the users and uh, which will be creating uh, engagement between the users to use our application. So every application should be uh, having this, this cloud messaging features. So then only it will be like uh, uh, will create a lot of engagement among the users so it's good to have it and now we'll see how to implement it uh, in our flutter and uh, in pubspec.yaml uh, just add the firebase messaging plugin and along with our flutter local notification plugin and make sure that you have done all the configuration steps for firebase SDK in flutter so initially i'm going to create a message servicing class so which will be adding the helper method to provide the messaging firebase messaging service here and I have created a instance for uh, Firebase messaging. So after that, I'm gonna creating the object for a local notification. And uh, here I'm having a function called request permission, which will be uh, like uh, asking the permission to use our location, uh, like uh, it's like uh, particularly for uh, only iOS platform, not for Android. So I just returned if the platform is Android here. And after that, uh, I'm gonna have a to getter method here called on message on message opened app like uh, just like how the firebase messaging has the on message as well as the on message app opened so this will be called uh, uh, like uh, while the app is uh, in the foreground you will be getting the payload which is comes from our firebase messaging and on message opened app which will be used to like uh, whenever the like user posts with a particular notification on the on the device so it will be just calling it out and you can just uh, like uh, uh, have a functions to navigating to a particular screen which you, you can use it there and after that I'm just having the initialized method here like uh, which will be like uh, requesting permission uh, like we'll be calling our request permission function here uh, and uh, we have we have uh, like uh, we have, I have printed the token here like uh, device token uh, like each each and every in devices will have a unique firebase messaging token so we can also use the use to send the lo uh, lo notification by using those uh, devices like token and uh, following that I'll be having the invoke local notification plugin which will be like uh, invoking the local notification so basically the firebase doesn't uh, like uh, uh, send the notification when the app is in the foreground so in that case we'll be like uh, having the local notification method to push the notification so that's what I have done here, like uh, created the notification, Android notification details. And uh, after that, we'll be configuring the Android channel. We have to pass the channel ID as well as the like messages and all. So then only we'll be like uh, invoking the local notification here. And I want to create a channel here. I have just created here. So we have done the configuration channel here. And after that, we'll be like, uh, uh, after whenever the like uh, user post is on the particular notification, so this will be called and we will be calling our on select notification method, which will be uh, like uh, used in our screen. So we'll see that later. And uh, after that, we'll be having a initialized local notification method. We will be calling all those methods by using here. Uh, like uh, created a notification Android setting as well as iOS and we will be initialize our local notification here. So that's what we have done here. So I think we are good to use our uh, messaging service class in our uh, screen. Now we'll see how to use this in our uh, screen. So inside the main, main function, uh, make sure that you have uh, initialized your Firebase here. And uh, after that, in the my home page, uh, I have just uh, called our messaging service class, which we have defined before inside the initial initial state. And I have called the initialize function. And uh, I'm gonna like uh, after once the initialize is completed, we'll be like uh, uh, like uh, listening to the our Firebase cloud messaging here. And uh, inside our cloud messaging listener, we'll be like uh, calling our message listen function into our that we have defined uh, already in our messaging service will be uh, by, by using the invoke local function and after that we also like uh, listen the on message opened app which is inside our firebase cloud messaging and after that we will be calling the open for launch function which will be like uh, getting all those payload which is uh, comes from our api or uh, console 
uh, that will be comes here uh, by using that we will be uh, calling a on select notification function so inside that i just printed the payload which is coming from our uh, cloud messaging and here you can uh, call the like uh, what if you want to like uh, navigate to particular screen or you want to perform something else you can just do that here so this will be called whenever user the rest the particular notification here so you can be able to get the payload here so now we'll see the output now so here the app is open now i'll just create a new notification in the uh, firebase console so i'll just give that title called example title and after that uh, we'll say a uh, description and after that you have to click the next and you have to choose the application that you want to send the notification after i choose i just schedule it now i'll just click review here so i'll just click publish so if you if you see the emulator Here, like that, yeah, we have got the notification here. So yeah, so we have got the notification from our console. Now we'll see how to send the notification by sending uh, like uh, how we are doing with our REST APIs, like uh, how the payload will comes. We'll see by using the push try. I'm gonna use it for to send the notification, and we have to pass the web API cloud messaging key for it. And they will be getting that under. Just go to the app settings, and go to the cloud messaging tab. You can get the server key here. Just copy it, and uh, inside the API key, just paste your key. And you have to give the device token here. And for device token, I have already printed the token in the console. Uh, just restart the app. So it will be printed on initial state. Yeah, we have got the device token. So this is the device token that we have printed before. And I'll just paste it here. And I'm gonna give the payload called uh, this is the testing payload. Yeah, I'm gonna give submit. So you can get the payload here. Again, I'll just paste it here. I'll just click submit again. Yeah, send successfully. Just to open our app now. Okay, dot restarter. I just click submit here. And yeah, you can see the message is coming here. This is testing payload. So this is how you can uh, use the our Firebase messaging in our Flutter. And now we'll see about the in-app messaging uh, service which is provided by uh, Firebase and uh, it is uh, mainly used to like uh, let the users know about the when the like latest version of the application is arrived so we'll just uh, send a message uh, to let them update the application and uh, use it so for that purpose you can use the in-app messaging and you can also customize your in-app messaging to like uh, users and now I'll just give you the demo of it I have already created it I'll just duplicate the campaign here so you can also choose your model image only or top banner or card or model whatever you want I'll just choose a card and you can also give the background color and a text color here and you can give the title here and body I've given a taste and test body and I have given a one example image here so this is how the output will be like so this is preview session is shown here and uh, after that you have to uh, choose the button click uh, like if you want to like uh, uh, move to like a particular URL or if you want to click uh, whenever the user clicks on the button so 
just want to perform something that uh, you can like uh, define it there so that will work and after that you have to click the next and you have to choose the application that you want to show the in-app messaging and you can choose your event here like uh, app launch or on foreground and some other events will be shown here and you can choose whatever the event that you want and after that you just click the review and just click the public so if you open the application So the application is opening now. Yeah, here it is. So see the our uh, Firebase in-app messaging. The layout will be looks like this. The things will be comes, but the layout which we selected in our console and the text and description, even image and the click action button. You can customize all all the thing uh, in your Firebase console itself, and you can just like uh, how you have to like uh, do the file this cloud messaging with uh, and this is how you have to like uh, implement the fibers in app messaging in your flutter and make sure that you have added the package in your pubspec.yaml fibers in app messaging and you can also customize the events which you want to like uh, uh, use you can also use that event thing also and you can customize the what are the things that you want to use you can use it there and that's all for the today's video guys and we'll see you in next video stay tuned bye